Hey guys, welcome from Theme Park Country Gear, and today we are here at Aquatico Orlando. This is Etai's first time ever here at this water park. This is the first vlog I'm doing here. I've been here a couple times, and I've done every slide here. So yeah, so we're gonna go check out some of the slides. Etai actually did dolphin plunge because uh, I wanted him to do it for the line. What do you think of dolphin? It, it was okay. It, was, it wasn't the greatest water slide ever, and it's just boring. So. So we're about to get a ride on Kari Kari Curl here. I don't think it's the best slide, but we're gonna do it anyway and see how it is. So we just came off of Kari Kari Curl here. The first one I did, I really didn't enjoy it. I thought it was really short and I didn't really do anything. It was much better this time. I feel like I got a bit more ejected on the drop and I even got a little bit of, like I'd say, floater slightly on the wave. But I mean, it's really short. I don't think it's the best. It's not that good. But I mean, it is kind of a fun ride. It's not that good. It's really short. But like, I mean, we went up the wall a little bit, but it's not that good. Mm -hmm. I suggest if you're gonna come here during opening, get Dog Punch and Kari Kari Curl on the way. All the other sides have a line. So, two sides close today to Moodle Racer and Omaka Raka down here. We're about to do Ahu's Breakaway Falls, the trapdoor slide. Unfortunately, I can't bring you guys on this ride. It's like the only ride Aquatica they do not allow GoPros on. So, I'll see you guys after we get off Ahu's. Okay, so we just came off of Ahu's Breakaway Falls. They're all four sides, the three breakaway boxes and the one purple, obviously. So, my review, um, the blue side I definitely would say is the weakest. It, I mean, they're all still fun, but the blue side I definitely would say is the weakest, and it's good, but it's not great. Green side, however, is really good. That first drop into the first section is pretty good, but then that helix second is really forceful, and I really enjoy that. Orange, however, is my favorite drop side. I definitely would say the most intense. Both turns are extremely intense, and the drop is just honestly the best. I'm pretty sure that's the longest one. And then the purple side is the only one you pull yourself down, and obviously has that insane steep drop into double helix. That one's really good, really forceful, and I absolutely love it. And it starts instantly, and that's what's so good. So, Itai, it was your first time. Okay, so here's the thing. I've been on drop sides before, and I've been on Vanish Point, of course, and I gotta say, this just, like, craps all over vantage point like it's so good um every side is different the purple side is underrated as crap um i love the orange one it's my favorite because it's really intense it's awesome and yeah it, i think it's a great complex it's mm -hmm. awesome that's still probably my personal favorite side of aquatica so omaka rock is close we're gonna do the four sides at wanu way i'm pretty sure i can take guys on this so this will be cool uh obviously these are the really fast tube sides here so looking forward to it and let's get to it One away. two out of the four sides on Wanu Way. Um, obviously, the two sides we did there are two sides that are different and the other two are mirrored versions of it. So we did the teal and the pink one. Now I'm obviously still the yellow and blue one we have to do. But it was really good. We did the teal one. That's probably my favorite. Um, obviously, they're different, so we'll see what the other two are like later. It's been a while since I did this, but it's a really fun side, really fast. Um, actually, you get some air time on it, which is crazy. It's overall really fun rides. What do you think? Uh, it was a really underrated slide. Um, you get some great ejector for some reason, and it's amazing. I like it. So I'm gonna take Itai to a hidden gem of Aquatica that uh, I think people realize it's here, but it's the best thing. It's not a slide, and just by saying that, 
all you aquatic fans know what I'm talking about. So let's go do it. We are on Rose Rapids. Hidden gem of Aquatica. Oh, we got a gem. We oh. get a little hydraulic launch there. Well, they they took off the life jacket mandatory rule. Honestly, thank gosh they did. Yeah. Oh, I it's not gonna ride. It's fun. Like my legs aren't even on the ground, and I can just flow in. Oh, it's just it's nice. still just enjoying. It's just dying. It is fast. It's like it's fast today. It works. Like it's crazy. Like it feels so fast. Oh, here we go. We got miskers. Awesome. So I just thought I'd give you guys a quick little update. Here is Riptide Race, the new slide coming to Aquatica. It's supposed to open this year and it probably will. Um, obviously all the slide structure is done and the queue and everything. I don't really know what they have. Obviously the splashdown stuff is all set up here. But yeah, so what's coming? Florida's first dueling racer. So um, it looks really fun. I'm really excited for this thing to open. I think this is going to be a good recovery after Care Care Curl. Or Kari Kari Curl. But it looks good. I can't wait for this thing to open, honestly. It's going to be good. Be good. So we tried to do Tassie's Twister, but the line was really long. So we're just chilling in loggerhead lane. I actually haven't done the Slazer River. I only did the Rapid, so first time in this and it's cool. But uh... It's my first time here. That's yeah. nice. What size? You have to be in a tube, which I mean, I like just free floating, but I'm glad there is tubes actually going. Because when we went to Alan H. Rowe, they were really strict with like tubes and cleaning them, but here they don't care. Honestly, it's nice. Yeah, I honestly they didn't even have tubes in the other stuff. So. Yeah. So this is really nice. Like, it's honestly getting me really hyped for Venture Island tomorrow because it's a new water park and it's a SeaWorld park, and I love Aquatica, so it'll probably be nice. I don't think it'll be as good, though. But yeah. What do you think of Aquatica so far? Um, it's definitely one of my favorite water parks. Better than um, Cedar Points, better than um, Adventure Island. Um, EU is just amazing. I love that water slide. And the water slide and the theming is amazing. I love it. Would you say this is the best water park? Yeah, for my opinion. Yeah. So it's really good. So now, yeah, uh, I'm going to Venture Island, and we're going to go to Volcano Bay like in uh, September, so awesome. And now we're going to go under a waterfall, so here we go, guys. So unfortunately here on Makaraka, the, the single tube funnel slide and the tri funnel slide is closed for today. Um, I do really like this slide and I feel bad for Itai because this is a fun slide. In fact, when I came to Aquatica, this is the first slide I did. So pretty cool. Obviously you can tell it's empty. But yeah, um, overall it's a great slide, but unfortunately it is closed for the day. But it is, I'd say, one of the milder family slides, so not the worst loss. Another slide that's unfortunately closed here is to Muda Racer. This is actually probably my favorite, one of my favorite slides in the park. So, sad to see it closed. So as you can see that drop there, it's much bigger in person and it looks really good. But yeah, I mean, right now it looks like crap. So hopefully they can open this. They'll probably have it closed because of social distancing, and which I get, but they could honestly just do every other slide. I don't know, but sad that it's closed.
We did Ray Rush earlier. We actually did twice. Um, Ray Rush is probably my favorite side here. I really like it. Who's with that? just so good. The dome is great. You just get super wet. And then the wave part is so good. You get like airtime going down the drop and they just go so high up the wave. It's so good. It's Ray Rush is really good, honestly. It's like one of my favorite slides here as well. Uh, I mean, you get soaked on that ride, and honestly, it's really long too, so I really like it a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and do Wahala Wave. So our next slide, that's the other family raft slides. So we're gonna go do that. And uh, also, when we were up on the thing, we had to a good view of Riptide Race. And it looked great, and even the splashdown is done. So hopefully they can open that thing soon so we can get on it, it's probably cool. But yeah, next up, it's time for Wahala Wave. Wahala Wave, the family raft slide, and that one's always just really fun to ride. I always enjoy that one. It's always good fun, really smooth, it's great. Itai. Itai. Wahala Wave. Oh, it was really fun. Similar to a walking run at like Adventure Island. Oh, it was a fun ride. Um, I think I prefer it over Wahala Awesome. So now we're about to do Tassie Sisters, the last slide you test too, that's open today. And uh, yeah, line finally dialed down, so let's get a ride on it. Here we go. the bowl a lot longer than I remember it doing but it's really fun it was actually much better than I remembered yeah it was a really good uh, water slide um, definitely better than down under at Alicia um, for sure yep so we're gonna go ahead and do a who breakaway falls again see if I can take you guys down maybe the purple slide see if that'll work so let's go check it out
surprised to find out we did Dolphin Punch because I had no way. We were like five minutes before it sounds good. So we tried it earlier if you guys know his thoughts. Um, I did, I went pretty slow down it, which I know for most of it's going to be a blessing, but for that side it's nice because they really got to admire the tank. It was pretty cool, you know. Um, it's an interesting side. I think it's way too short. I wish I could have a little more time in the tank. But in that, you know, it was a fun little slide. I mean, it's okay body slide, but uh, I wouldn't wait more than like 10 minutes for it, so it's okay. Let's see now. I can get you guys down in for a good